Across Iowa, drug task forces are hard at work to keep narcotics off the street, a job that requires manpower and funding. But in a tough economy, agencies nationwide are feeling the pinch, including those task forces, and they say it could result in more drugs on the street. CBS 2 News reporter Jason Hackett live in Waterloo now with more. Jason. Now, Tiffany and Scott, since 1991, task forces across the country, including the one here in Waterloo, have received federal funding through law enforcement grants to help do what they do. And they say it's helped clean up the streets. But over the years, that funding has been shipped into piece by piece, little by little. This most recent cut, however, may have the biggest impact. It was just seven short months ago that the Tri-County Drug Task Force hit the mother load. We had a uh, seizure of over, over a million dollars worth of ice methamphetamine. It's regarded as one of the larger busts the task force has ever made, but funding issues may put operations like this and others statewide in jeopardy. Starting uh, July 1, we have already been told that we, were, we will probably be decreased anywhere from 42 to 45 percent of our federal funding. The federal funding through the Burn Justice Assistance Grant pays for salaries, projects, investigations, and makes busts like the Tri-County Task Force's big one last October possible. I think it is going to be a challenge. Uh, certainly, I think this, this makes, it, uh, makes it harder to, to keep drugs off the streets. The federal funding makes up a majority of the task force budget, with local agencies in the task force coverage area contributing a smaller percentage. But with the cuts, these agencies may have to take on a larger piece of the pie. If local, local uh, leaders and um, local law enforcement really feel this is a priority, uh, there are ways you know, for them to increase funding from the local level to make up the difference. Lieutenant Payne says it will leave police and sheriff's departments who have officers on these task forces with two options. Continue to support the drug task force and have a full-time officer there or else put them back on the street. And I don't believe that that would be the right option as far as especially the amount of narcotics we see in this area. With meth cases on the rise and drugs like heroin becoming more prevalent statewide, Payne says it's not a risk he wants to take. Now, not every agency will see the same cut across the board. The grant is competitive. Payne says he hopes that's taken into consideration as their agency is one of the busiest in the state. Last year alone, they seized more than $3 million in narcotics. We're live in Waterloo. Jason Hackett, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.